Hello everyone, Happy New Year, welcome to 2020. This is the very first episode of DE News Roundup for this year. Glad to have you along. This week in Las Vegas, tech leaders, pioneers and tech enthusiasts all come together to explore the latest in consumer technology at the annual CES or Consumer Electronics Show. This is where people come to show off their IoT or connected devices. Smart home systems, automotive car tech developers and AI-driven applications dominate the show. A fair amount of the show is dedicated to AR, VR, the use of mixed reality for entertainment as well as for practical purposes. If you go to Toyota's booth, you'll get a chance to meet THR3, a humanoid partner robot. The robot is controlled by a human driver whose movements dictate what the robot does, where it goes, and so on. GPU maker NVIDIA plays a role in the development of THR3, its Isaac software development kit for AI-driven robotics. A technology for training and simulating robotics is part of the project. In this lab, we want to develop robots that can interact with people in a natural way. So these robots need to be able to operate on very different tasks. It needs to be very easy to tell them what they should be doing. And also, they should be able to do this in very different environments. In this demo, the Leonardo robot performs a reasonably simple block stacking task where it detects the different kinds of blocks, their colors, and then decides on which block it wants to stack on top of each other. We were able to train and develop the robot in simulation. We were using the Isaac simulation environment in which we were able to test our algorithms, to fine tune the control algorithms. As a result, the robot moves in a very fluent way. Also, we were able to train even the visual perception algorithms. Another GPU maker, AMD, came to promote its processors targeting mobile computers. All new processing power to the ultra-thin laptop form factor. So we launched the new N7 nanometer AMD Ryzen mobile 4000 series processors. This combines our all new Zen 2 core. This is the best CPU core in the market, combining it with the best graphics in the market. And then we have three versions. We have the U series for ultra-thin consumer laptops, the H series for gamers and creators, and then we have the Pro series for commercial laptops. We also today launched, for all of those gamers out there, the AMD Radeon 5600 XT. This is the ultimate 1080p gaming graphics cards, whether you like AAA gaming, or you like eSports gaming, or you do a little bit of both. Finally, we will launch the world's first 64-core desktop processor. Just absolutely beastly performance. This thing um, just blows away anything else that you can bring to the desktop form factor. And we showed off how it enables real-time 8K video editing while transcoding, which was just simply never possible before. So a really exciting CES already for AMD and our big announcements. At the show, Siemens also announced its partnership with ARM, a processor IP firm. The goal is to use ARM technology in developing Siemens' PAVE 360, described as a pre-silicon autonomous validation environment. This involves the use of ARM Automotive Enhanced Products, or processor technologies targeting automotive manufacturers that use sensors. The result is an integrated circuit chip, IC, that help you simulate safety features in cars, According to Siemens, the solution will let you simulate and verify subsystem and systems on chips, or SOCs as they are known, and better understand how they perform within a vehicle designed from the silicon level up, long before the vehicle is built. PAVE 360 is part of Siemens Accelerator Portfolio, a set of products for automotive companies. HP is releasing a series of new products at CES. The company is showcasing the HP NV32 all-in-one, a personal system powered by Intel Core i CPUs and NVIDIA GeForce GPUs. It is also highlighting the HP Elite Dragonfly, a thin, light mobile system with 5G connection. 
More than 82% of its parts are made from recycled materials, and it is the first laptop made with ocean-bound plastic, so it may appeal to consumers who want to do their parts to promote sustainability, as the company points out. The show is still known as the Consumer Electronics Show, as the name says, and there is still more than enough cool gadgets and games to keep you distracted for consumers. But the conference is also attracting big names in the professional engineering and manufacturing sectors. The blurring of the line is evident mostly in technologies targeting the smart car developers. For more engineering and design-related news, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's DE Streaming. Follow us on Twitter, that's DE Editor, or visit our website at digitalengineering247.com. That's digitalengineering247.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Kenneth Wong. See you next time. 